Today is day three at UCLA. We got we got some coffee in the morning. We had a nice talk with a poli sci dude about uh, democratic policy. He was telling me how how the world's just not ready for Andrew Yang yet. He was talking about how Buttigieg and Elizabeth Warren were looking pretty solid in the debate last night. And like I was asking him about what he thought like the future of the democratic party should be doing because he like i've been learning about politics from a from a philosophical from a psychological angle and like he he comes at it from a political like a policy-based angle it is it's february we're gonna make a bold prediction we're gonna say pete Buttigieg or elizabeth warren are gonna be the next president of the united states you heard it here first february that's the prediction I don't know, like, I think this is going to be the easiest election for the Democratic Party, like, ever. There's no way they don't win. <laughs> but, like, again, that's what they all said last time. Yesterday we went and we looked at the MBA buildings a little bit, and we talked to a psychologist there who works with the, the MBA program, and talking to him was really insightful. So hopefully, if we go kick it at the psychology building, or maybe the philosophy building. We can sit in on some classes and uh, maybe talk to some more professors. All right, guys, so we wandered into the psych department. We're doing psych 101 to 100 level class. That's psych statistics. I don't know what it's going to be about. It's intro level, unfortunately. It's just another day of power leveling, you know, trying to win the day. If you're if you're competitive, if you're really big in sports, think about it as like whatever you're doing, compare yourself to the best. If you're out there shooting around, like compare yourself to NBA players. If you're in class, compare yourself to your professors. Like if you're doing a school radio show, compare yourself to the best radio hosts in the world. Or if you're shooting a short film, compare yourself to the best actors. That even if you have no feasible hope of actually competing with them if you put yourself in the mindset of i want to be the very best at what i'm doing like that's that's a precondition of just giving yourself a chance because guys remember a lot of success comes from luck life's a game of numbers you just gotta gotta boost your percentages boost your stats as much as possible and just wait until you get lucky i'm gonna stop talking now so one of the biggest like one of the biggest advantages of being here at UCLA is you're able to have face-to-face -face conversations with other people who are thinking about the same kind of things as you are. And with that idea in mind, this guy, Ray Dalio, who wrote this book that I'm reading, um, he talks about how when he was trying to figure out what to put in the book, um, he was talking to a guy who wrote biographies for Albert Einstein and Ben Franklin, and he tried to like glean wisdom from him. And then he spoke to Bill Gates, he spoke to Elon Musk, Reed Hastings, who was with Twitter, or not Twitter, sorry, Netflix, uh, Muhammad Yunus, Jeffrey Canada, uh, Jack Dorsey, the guy from Twitter, and David Kelly, IDEO, I don't know, I don't know who Jack Kelly is. The point I'm trying to, to make here is that one of the cool things about books is that, like, Ray Dalio was able to go out and talk to all these really smart people and, like, distill the wisdom from those talks, like, what he took away, and he's able to put that in a book, and now I'm holding his book, so it's like I got access in a way, to Elon Musk and Bill Gates and Reed Hastings. And, and that's kind of, that's the beauty of the way humans share information with each other. The way we can communicate stories, the way we can communicate ideas. It's so cool, so cool. But yeah, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I had a call scheduled with this dude from Bumble Business at 12.30 and it's like 12.45 right now. I was 15 minutes late, so I shot him a message on Bumble and said, hey dude, call me if you get a chance. We'll see if he actually calls me. I don't know, but we're gonna go finally. Oh, maybe that's him. Nope, it's just my mom. Good old mama. Shout out mama. Shout out all the cool moms out there. Anywho, um, yeah, Taco Bell. Mm, mm. We're gonna go get some of that. <laughs>
who we are. Shout out, high five, alpha, omega. I have no idea what sorority gave me pancakes. But whatever sorority this is, thank you. Thank you for this gluten-free vegan chocolate chip pancakes. All right, internet. Love you. See you tomorrow.